Hello from TeenYetDragon.com. This is Ji Sifu. Today we'll be talking about the Sam Law San Gong Chinese magic that we're teaching. Mostly this uh, series is going to be for the newbies and the newbies to be. So uh, for our disciples, if you're interested in learning Sam Law San Gong, this series will answer a lot of uh, commonly asked questions uh, that you might also have. So just listen or uh, even watch the whole playlist if you have any questions and stuff like that. So this video I want to dig into the um, Fu burning FAQ okay to how to burn a Fu. Now this is the full size Fu in our lineage it's that big okay full size. Now we also have the Fu Tao which is a smaller size. Now the Fu Tao doesn't mean that it's weaker because it's smaller in physical size. You cannot judge magic by looking at the physical appearance. Because things are smaller, it doesn't mean that it's weaker. You have to understand, just like things in our world, because this phone is so small, it doesn't mean that the antique telephone is more powerful. Things that is powerful can be packed into a very microscopic uh, package just like flashlight just like all electronics same thing goes to the magic now I'll demonstrate how to burn a foo properly okay so basically this is the foo you first you have to see this is the front and this is the back the easiest thing to do to tell if this is the front or the back is to look at the text the ink the back you can see the ink is a little bit more faint and the front is a much more solid ink and you know for these okay uh, if you want to know where it's the front and back, it's pretty easy. Look, this is the Mac. This is the front. This is, see, it's very obvious, right? So when you burn Fu, the front face outside. What you want to do is fold the Fu in half. Okay? Fold it in half like this. Top to bottom. Fold. Okay? Like this. Okay? Now, burning a Fu. What do you want to do is, first of all, you have to decide, burn from the tail, the tail, or the head. Or the, you can say this is the footer, or the, the bottom, okay? Bottom or the top, whatever you want to call that, okay? Now, where do you want to burn the food first? Now, that, that depends on you, okay? It depends on the user. The user can choose where to burn the food first, but this is the common uh, rule about, like, the, the common theory. Burning from the bottom, okay, is when you need something to be executed and performed, like a task that needs to be done right away. You need something to be done, okay? Burning the top is usually just to, um, to, to infuse the power and empower something. So you will be using the bottom more than the top sometimes, okay? When we burn food, into the altar when you when you burn food to the altar to hoi tin moon to open like this is the open and close portal stuff like these okay so basically you can see this is the top this is the bottom now when we are burning these things you also fold like so and you choose where to burn so when we burn these things what you're trying to do is you're trying to execute the command you're trying to tell it to open okay something needs to be done so you burn from the bottom and it will burn all the way up now for some fu like the fu tao the fu head here okay if you burn from the bottom right here into a bowl and you drink compared to burn from the top and you drink it's two different uh result two different effect you can do any one of them depending on your own mood and choice of course but let me tell you what's different, okay? Now, this is the Fu, had this Sam Law Fu Tao, okay, right here. Now, say that this is going to be a specific kind of power, specific, specific kind of cultivated energies, okay? When you use this by burning the top, sorry, not, yeah, the top, okay, the top, the, the top, <laughs> okay, and burn from the top into a bowl of water, uh, uh, into a bowl and add water and drink. When you do that, what you're doing is you're adding this energy to your own. The energy will find your own, uh, like go into your own energy and then empower whatever is corresponding 
to this energy's uh, type. So it will empower, it will, it will get more uh, power added onto your stuff. Now when you're using this and burning from the bottom, what, you, what you're doing is executing the Fu Tao. Now the Fu Tao will get into you and kick its uh, energy into an action. Now what happened is the Sam Law Fu Tao uh, itself is basically it will uh, wrap around everything and empower it. So basically you won't really go wrong with burning the bottom. What it does is it won't just find your type of stuff and then empower whatever is there. It adds more stuff to it because what the thing is doing is going to add power. So this one is add more and not to empower whatever is there. Now the two effect is good to do, see? One is like you are trying to make all the cells in your body stronger. One is trying to add more cells to make your body stronger. Both will work, it depends on what you want to do. So when you get the Fu Tao, now you can choose how you want to use them. And we cannot say, okay, this is how you have to use it. It is all up to you. When you buy a set of Fu Tao here, there's a nine piece of them. You can choose. And the more you understand about every Fu Tao and what they're doing, when you're deciding how to consume them, you can burn from the top or bottom depending on what you're trying to do for yourself. It's like saying you have food that you bought from the supermarket. Now you bought a lot of like fish, meat, uh, vegetable, potatoes, whatever. Now it's time for you to get in the kitchen and think, make your own decision about how you want to consume these things. Now there are some food that, that have some um, specific usage. For example, a food that is for chusat, like cleaning your house, okay? Now these food, you have to follow instruction because there are specific usage uh, for the food. For the chusat food, for example, after you sweep the house with the food like that, okay, after you sweep the house, you must burn from the bottom because you want things to kick in action and not to empower using the negative stuff that you just absorb. You want to take action and dissolve them and transfer them out. So you don't want to burn the top for those kind of food. So burning food is um, it does require some knowledge and practice and thinking. So when you're using these food, you can always, um, like for example, these food, food tao, okay? You can always ask your uh, seafood the master to tell you wh what is the best or what you think you want to do and just make sure. The more you ask, the more you make sure about how to burn a food, the better it is because you learn while you ask more questions and you ponder inside, you digest and you get new ideas and later on you get better with how to use a food. Now, when you burn a food, do not just take a lighter and then uh, like that, okay? Always, when you burn the long food, for, uh, especially, you take the candle right here. There are two candles, okay? This one on the left and one on the right, they are the man kok and the mo kok candle. You will be learning about those in another video. So basically, you take one of this candle, you go like that, clamp, and now you can burn the food from one side and then keep the flame upward like this so that it won't burn your hand okay keep it up like that and then you do your circle or whatever on top of the bowl and after you're done add water see it's like that so this is basically a very general rule for how to burn the food do not just take a lighter and start lighting up the food and food tao because the lighter is not empowered your candle is you need an empowered and tuned programmed flame. You cannot just use any ordinary flame to trigger the power of the food. You need to use a flame that is programmed for triggering up the power of the food. A normal flame cannot trigger up the power of your food and cannot convert this energy to whatever you want to convert to. That is why every candle's incense and such is all empowered. You must do the tick uh, magic to bond the magic and to tune these things from like an ordinary candle to a magic purpose candle. It's very important. You cannot mix up ordinary candle and, and a normal candle. They're not the same. 
Okay, so we'll talk about those candle stuff in, in uh, other videos. So we'll see you then. Remember to subscribe, like, comment below, and uh, visit teenyetdragon.com. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.